What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Saturday, the 17th of January, 2015. Headline at this hour, Intel source says that the 20 terror cells ready to strike. Whatever. As always, the first link below will take you over to the blog spot post. That's where you can find all of this madness I'm going to give you. Let's just get started. A week of madness indeed. Latest Paris hostage crisis ends without bloodshed. A suspect who claimed to have Kalishnikov and grenade gives up, uh, gives himself up. Another hostage situation. This one ended very well. Nobody hurt. Uh, meanwhile, back at home, we got Sentinel Police Chief shot during bomb threat investigation. This is out of Oklahoma. Not sure what's up with that, but I think he's going to be all right. Uh, we got one dead, 84 taken to hospitals. 84 taken to hospitals after hundreds evacuated from Plaza Metro Station in Washington, D.C. Some sort of electrical fault, a lot of smoke. I don't know. Had another incident with a train. Uh, Penn Station fire that disrupted trains was accidental, says FDNY. Uh, a number of people treated for smoke inhalation there, I too, too, I think. Uh, we got Ebola news, or maybe not. Soldier found dead in Killeen, identified test negative for Ebola, but he just got back from that part of the world. Very suspicious. Uh, speaking of Ebola, let's talk about vaccines. Mandatory chicken box va chicken pox vaccination increases disease rate, study shows. This is from Intella. Right on. Thanks for that link. Hillary. I knew she would have something to say. Hillary is furious over Bill's part in pedophile sex scandal. Oh, Hillary, what difference does it make? Give me a break. We got top Troy MP. This goes along with the last one. Uh, murdered. Murdered girl and vile orgy claims new witness. I don't know what's up with that. I haven't looked into it. I'll put a link to it, though. Over to financial news. How the Dow Jones Industrial Average fared on Friday. Looks like the Dow was up 190 points. Closed the week at 17,511. Still hovering right around 17,500. Meanwhile, economic death spiral. More American businesses dying than starting. This from Breitbart. Indeed, the numbers don't look good. I don't care what the mainstream media is telling you. Wall Street now sees around $40, $40 oil. This from Bloomberg. Man. How much lower can it go? Oil field service company cutting 9,000 jobs in the United States. Fracking is not going well. This January 15. Put a link to that. Uh, we got momentum bills. Now check this out. With gas prices so low, look what Congress is trying to slide under the carpet. Momentum bills in Congress for raising the federal gas tax. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Don't think so. That from the Hill. We got Central Florida leaders to vote on pay per mile. We've heard this before, remember? Putting GPS trackers on the car. How exactly would they know how many miles you've driven unless they have some way of tracking you? Put a link to it, local media out of Florida. Five things you need to know about tax filing and Obama health care law. There's only one thing I need to know. Do not comply. I'll put this link from Hawaii News now, though. Anybody interested in paying for Obamacare. Uh, Lou Brock Restaurant Group adding surcharge to cover the cost of Obamacare. Uh, that local media out of somewhere. Uh, a couple more here. we got bloodhounds. Uh, divers used in search for AIG executive who disappeared in Palm Desert. We have another missing financial person, maybe dead, I don't know. One more, protesters gather at Clinton Foundation to complain missing money from Haiti recovery. Over to New World Order and Police State News, got a ton of it this week, sadly. Cop restrains friendly dog and slashes its throat, says, I'm going to gut this effing thing. I'll put a link to it from Filming Cops, not sure where it happened, somewhere in America. Uh, meanwhile, I got one from We Are Change. Entire family, entire family beaten and arrested. Cop quoted as saying, I'm going to teach you a lesson tonight. January 11, 2015, again, somewhere out of the United States. Doesn't really matter. It's happening all over the place. Police State USA has this. Minnesota mom faces up to two years in prison for saving son's life with cannabis oil. This is ridiculous. Child Protective Services. I'm sure his, her, her child will probably in care, be in care of Child Protective Services. Here's a link on that. Child Protective Services and the business of taking your children. Very interesting. Very alarming. Uh, let's see here. Let's computer catch up. Land of the Free. A science experiment landed this little girl in handcuffs. Uh, another one from We Are Change. Meanwhile, slow down sanctions. NYPD officers uh, orders cops to meet arrest summons and quotas or lose vacation time and sick leave. Good job to the NYPD for, you know, and, and this is, should go out to police departments across the nation. You want to get the people back on your side? Start thinking protect and serve and stop thinking revenue generation. Now they're threatening the NYPD because they're not writing tickets. What do you guys think about that? Other news going on. The Pope, the Pope chimes in on freedom of speech this week. Paris attacks. Pope Francis says freedom of speech has its limits. Screw you, Pope. Freedom of speech has no limits. Otherwise, it wouldn't be freedom of speech. That's just my opinion. One more on the Pope. Homeless street orphans caged in the Philippines before Pope's arrival. 
Yeah, tell us about that one, Pope. Over to World War III news. Police say up to six six Paris terror suspects still at large. Sorry for getting loud. Some of this stuff just pisses me off. Uh, so th th And there's raids going on all over the place. I'm going to do a whole other video on that topic. Anyway, I'll put a link to that because i got a ton of stuff to give you on that. French Prime Minister declares war on radical Islam as Paris, gri Paris grinds for rally. Grins for rally. I don't know. Put a link to this. They're, they're declaring war on radical Islam, I guess. Dailymail.com has this. The Great Wall of Saudi Arabia. Kingdom plans to build 600-mile 600 600-mile 600 barrier from Jordan to Kuwait in, in response to threat from invasion by ISIS. So another great wall going up, be advised. Islamic State releases video of child executing alleged Russian spies. Sick. Very sick. Put a link to this from the Washington Free Beacon. TSA warns of hard-to-detect bombs. Homeland Security uh, story on bomb-making prompts airport surges. You're going to get felt up a little more at the airports. Be advised. State Department warns U.S. citizens of increased violence and kidnappings abroad. This from Fox News Insider. Uh, NATO readies forces on short notice as... Russia stations 3,000 ground forces, 39 ships, and 45 submarines this January 15. Not sounding good. I got one more in the World War III bin. Um, this goes out to our military and our veterans. This, it's just so great how we treat our veterans in this country. Look at this. VA Inspector General accused of, of hiding damaging reports about VA failures. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news now. Looks like we got a 6.6. .6. That was back on the 7th. Looks like there hasn't been any big quakes in the past. We got a little, a lot of little quakes though. We got a four, a 2.9 out of Alaska, 2.7 out of Alaska, 3.4 out of Oklahoma. I'll put this link from USGS. Big quakes on the left, small quakes on the right. Great resource. Speaking of Oklahoma, mysterious booms rattle homes and scare livestock in Oklahoma. This January 9, 2015, uh, earthquakes or underground trains or you know sonic booms. What's going on? Volcanoes are cooling the earth. Aerosols, aerosols from small eruptions have reduced global temperatures. We Are Changed has an article on that January 14. Meanwhile, top, clim top clients, climate scientist warns against injecting uh, stratospheric particles into the atmosphere. What is he talking about, stratospheric particles? Does he mean chemtrails? Raise your hand if you're a chemtard. You know, you're know, you not going to tell me that when I look up at the sky and see tic-tac-toe going on, that uh, not to believe my lying eyes. Anyway, Daily Mail has this. Stunning pictures of Michigan's St. Joseph Lighthouse transformed into giant icicle. Check these pictures out from the Daily Mail. Amazing stuff going on there. Uh, Al Gore, something you want to say? YouTube video captures horrifying moments. A 193-vehicle pileup. This from Hawaii News Now. Uh, this happened actually out of Michigan uh, under snow, very snowy conditions. Uh, you know, be advised. Very, I don't want to say graphic, but very, you know, it's... It's bad. Uh, other news going on. An asteroid will be making a close call later this month, and it will be visible with backyard telescopes. This from Inquester, 9, uh, January 13, 2015. What's the date on this? Uh, da, da, da. I don't know. It's in there somewhere. Sometime this month, big asteroid going to fly by. And speaking of asteroids, we've got one from Space.com. What can we do if asteroid threatens Earth? Uh, Europe starts planning. Do the elites know something big's come? Something big is coming. Is that what all this terror stuff is? Is this all cover for? I don't know. I always, you know, keep that in the back of my mind though. Over to strange and bizarre news. A lot of strange news this week. Wife chops off. Be advised if you got, if you got little kids around, you might want to turn it down <laughs> or turn it off. Wife chops off cheating husband's penis twice. This from the New York Post. I'm not making it up. I don't know how you do it twice, but from Metro we got husband drove uh, electric drill into wife's brain, then stabbed her with. Stabbed her in the eye with a screwdriver. What the hell's wrong with people? This is from Metro out of sometime. I don't know where it's out of. Mother stabs 15-year-old son over pork chops. This January 14 from Breaking 911. We got fourth graders plotted to kill teacher with hand sanitizer. Uh, this is actually from People. This is out of Elba, New York on 1-11-2015. Hand sanitizer. Speaking of poison, police officer actually... There was one, I guess I don't have it, the one John Boehner's bartender tried to poison him. You have to Google that one. I'll have a link on that. Uh, very interesting. Police officer run down by his own cruiser after it was stolen. That doesn't happen every day, that from Free Thought Project. Two idiots, one gunshot. Police officer suing gun store after shooting off his own finger. Uh, it, it, it is exactly what it sounds like. I think they got a video on it. Uh, we got a couple more here. Uh, China smuggler caught with 94 iPhones strapped to his body. That from Hawaii News Now. And speaking of iPhones iPhone separation anxiety is real, leads to increased heart rate. It does make a lot of sense, though, that people would have high anxiety if you take their iPhone away because we've become a culture of just 
drone-like people. Everybody's walking around doing this. Nobody's paying attention to anything else. You want to start a revolution in America? Turn off Facebook and turn off iPhones. People will be in the streets pissed. Guaranteed. Anyway, that's all the news I got. Please check my favorite videos for more news. I'll put a link to that. Thank you to everybody who puts out content. I favorited a number of videos this week. Got some shout-outs. We got shout-out to South Carolina lawmaker wants mandatory gun classes in schools. Right on. Shout-out again this week to the Second Amendment. I got a couple more. Restaurant customer stops armed robber in Houston. Uh, inspires others to get CHL. This from Bearing Arms. And we got another one. Concealed carry customer kills criminal in Milwaukee barbershop robbery. January 10th. Shout out to the Second Amendment. Right on. Uh, take note, Paris, of how we handle things in America. Anyway, that's all I got for this week, guys. If you like the report, please give me a thumbs up, pass it around, share it. Give me a thumbs down if you can suck. This is the worst of YouTube. Never want to see again. Please rate, though. It helps move around. I do appreciate you. Also, follow me on Google+. Plus. Facebook and Twitter for live show alerts, breaking news alerts, new upload alerts, always posted there. People tell me they subscribe to me, but they don't get my videos. That's why I set up all those feeds. Follow me on one of those. You'll always get them. Another week of madness. CNN right now. Source says Belgium terror cell suspects still at large. The 24-hour Durka Durka continues in the mainstream media. I'm going to make another video about that. I've got a ton of links to give you on that. But until the next one, you guys take care, stay safe, have a good rest of the weekend, have a good week. I will see you on the next one.